words cannot explain how powerful this simple recipe is when it comes to caring for your hair. And the good thing is you only need two natural ingredients. When chemicals damaged my hair and I had to start growing my hair all over again, it was really tough for me to grow my hair thicker and fuller because I was experiencing a lot of hair breakages and hair shedding. But after incorporating natural ingredients to my hair care routine, my hair started growing much fuller, thicker, and more beautiful. And today I'm going to share one of such recipes with you. So make sure you're watching to the end. Let's do this. One important thing that our hair needs in order to thrive or to be able to withstand hair breakages is keratin. And I'm going to tell you more about keratin, but let me give it a shout out to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos, sharing them on your social media platforms, and even commenting below to help YouTube boost my videos. I really appreciate the love and support. And if you're stopping by for the first time, I appreciate you clicking on this video. One of my natural ingredients for today's recipe is hibiscus. As I said from the beginning of the video, our hair needs keratin. Keratin is the protein that nourishes and strengthens our hair to prevent it from breaking. It also helps bind the root, make it really stronger in order for it to withstand any damage. And what hibiscus does is it helps in the building of keratin. So it makes your hair strength really stronger. It conditions your hair to prevent hair breakages. Hibiscus contains amino acid and this amino acid is the building block for the keratin. So hibiscus is very, very important when it comes to hair breakages, hair loss, hair shedding, and also when it comes to strengthening your hair. So I put some hibiscus in the saucepan like so, added some water to it, put it on the stove and allow it to boil for 5 minutes. Then after that, I set it aside to cool down. Before moving on to my next ingredient, you know how we do it here. But if you're new here and you don't know how we do it here, we show a lot of love around this channel. So please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And do not forget to share this video on your social media platforms as well as with your friends and families who might benefit from this video. All right, so the next ingredient I'm going to use is my cornstarch. I added about two tablespoons of cornstarch, then I added some water to it to get a liquid consistency. Our scalp produces its own natural oils, which is called the sebum. But excessive production of this oil can cause dandruff or other scalp issues. What cornstarch does is it absorbs the excess oil on your scalp to give way to new healthy hair growth. So if you're somebody with oily hair, you might want to add cornstarch to your hair care routine. Cornstarch can also prevent frizz and make your hair really easy to manage. It can also help you return some moisture in your hair. And if you're someone with curly hair, cornstarch will make your curls really pop. So after mixing my cornstarch, I make sure to strain it just to make sure I do not have any impurities or little particles in it. And this is what I'm left with. Alright, so I just strained the water from the hibiscus that we boiled, then after that, I transferred it back into the saucepan. I'm going to put this on the stove, and as soon as it starts to boil, I set it off the fire. Then after that, I'm going to add the cornstarch that I mixed into this hot water. Doing it this way will prevent it from forming lumps. After everything has been mixed in very well, I'm going to put it on the stove for about a minute more to thicken it up.
all right so once everything is cooled down i just transferred it into a bowl and i'm going to add my curry oils i'm going to add my coconut oil coconut oil is really great for natural hair it can treat dandruff and also make your hair strand really stronger i added about a tablespoon of coconut oil to this recipe there is one more oil that i'm going to add i'm also going to add my olive oil i added about a tablespoon of olive oil feel free to add any oil of your choice it can be sunflower oil avocado oil grapeseed oil any oil that works best for your hair just make sure you're adding some kind of oil to this recipe then after that you're going to give it a stir i'm going to show you the best way to use this recipe in order to prevent hair breakages hair shedding or hair loss so make sure you're not skipping any part of this video and you're watching to the end and if you haven't done so already please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up and if you're new here do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time i put diys for hair growth like these you will always be notified and do not forget to share this video on your social media platforms as well as with your friends and families who might benefit from this recipe Alright, so before applying this, make sure your hair is clean. So you will first have to shampoo wash your hair. Then after that, you're going to section your hair and apply this to every part of your hair. You're going to use your fingers to massage it into your hair. After massaging it into every section, make sure to put it in a twist. After applying it to every part of your hair, you're going to cover your hair with a shower cup for about 20 minutes. Then after that, you rinse it out with water and go ahead to condition your hair. Make sure to do this in the shower because it can be really messy. Repeat this twice a month and just after the first use, you're going to experience less hair breakages. Your hair is going to feel much stronger, flourish, look more shinier and more beautiful. Thank you for watching this video.